guys and welcome back to another review. Today we are doing the Tarte Tartiest Lash Paint Mascara. Granted, yeah, I have a little sample size, but we only need one to do it. Full size retails for 25 bucks, but I mean, for Tarte, that's pretty on par, but you can also usually get Tarte on sales, like at Ulta or their own website, just have to wait till the right parts of the year, but they do have them and they're a lot more affordable when you just wait. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take off my glasses. And I will show you the brush and everything. Okay. Now this, I have to admit, because of the way it's designed, I scared myself the first time I opened it. Because I saw this and was like, oh shit, did I break it? No, I did not. So, let's wipe the excess off. It's kind of a weird design for the barrel, but what can you do, right? I think it's just because it's a sample, but... You have a nice full brush with long lush bristles on it. I am honestly pretty excited to see how this does given that on their website like their before and after photos are pretty dramatic but they always are with this brand but I've generally had very good luck with every Tarte mascara I've ever used. So let me grab my mirror because I'm not going to try and do this in the viewfinder and we will just go on in. Go, little roll. Oh wow. Heck yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. 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 I am here for this one. Like in a single coat. I am honestly shook. I didn't even remember to curl my lashes before starting. And there's actually this significant of a difference just from this. My mind is blown. There's one little bit that clumped that I'm trying to clump bust here, but most of it's pretty good at not having that issue. Wow. Wow. If I hold it up on that middle bit, just to get a little extra height. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I can always go in with a spoolie for that bit that's still clumped, but that's okay. It's okay. The difference. Dude. Again, that was without curling my lashes first. Holy shit balls. That just is insane to me. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yes, I think I want the full size of this one. My goodness. That is really impressive. Okay. They also have a travel size that's slightly bigger than this, and it retails for $15. But I'm like, if it's a $10 difference between the mini and the full size, just get the frickin' full size, dude. Like, honestly. Honestly. You're paying that much anyway, just get your full money's worth. Wow. Okay, so on my left eye, my lashes are naturally straighter on that side, and I have a much harder time curling them. So the fact that I'm seeing this much difference on this side without pre-curling, holy shit. I am really impressed. <laughs> okay, try and get those little inner lashes. Like the tip on this brush has bristles too. So that is perfect for getting all up in there and getting those little bitty baby lashes at the inside corner. But wow. Wow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> well, we knew that was going to happen inevitably at some point. It always happens when I do these. It always happens at least once. Does it not? Yes. <laughs> That's okay. I don't mind. It wasn't that bad. Just barely tapped it into my eyeball. <laughs> I was like, oops, <laughs> my bad. Okay, get my hair out of the way because it keeps getting caught on the wand. Okay. Do, 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 do. And again, trying to lift in the middle by holding it longer. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I mean, shit, I might go in and attempt doing the lower lashes, too, with how good this is looking. Let me get that little bit that I got under there, though. There. 
but like, bro, <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, I'm here for this. I love it. I love it so much. Oh, I, I think I like preemptively already want to buy the full size of this. I'm like, shut up and take my money. Just shut up and take my damn money. Oh my God. Screw it. I'm going for it. I'm going for the lower lashes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Accidentally smudged underneath, but that is again okay. I'll wait for it to dry and then I'll go in and clean up, but wow. I am really surprisingly in love with this. I mean, I don't know why I doubted it. I think every Tarte mascara I have ever tried, I have always loved and fallen instantly in love with. And I think basically every favorite mascara I've ever had has generally been from Tarte. So why am I surprised? I don't know. Does this blue uh, blow my lights camera lashes out of the water? That I'm still waiting to decide upon, but that is still my fave. Like. 100%. But this is pretty dang good, too, I gotta admit. Let's see if I can get that. Where's my old baby tail pop it down? Eh, I'll do it with my finger, I don't care. So. I'll go in with a Q-tip underneath after, but, like, for realsies, that is amazing. That gives me my dolly eyes that I love so much, like, ooh, yes, yes, y'all. Oh, my gosh. So, I will see how this wears throughout the day and everything and report back, but so far, I am so freaking in love with this, and preemptively, I'm giving it a 5 out of 5, but we shall see how it wears over the day, but, oh, my gosh, I'm, I'm really excited about this one. Okay, so update on the mascara. Um, I had to clean it up underneath the eyes. It is always the fatal flaw, but you can still see some under there. Uh, really wish I had been aware of it looking like that. I went out in public with it. Very, very streaky. I definitely see why several workers at Bath and Body Works asked if I was okay. Now I'm like, oh, oh, I see had no idea that it had streaked all under there. So, okay, at least now I know. Don't put it on the lower lashes. Stick with the upper ones. Because on the uppers, the, it stayed pretty well put. I mean, there's like a dot or two where maybe it smudged a little. But I can live with that. I can live with that. Normally, I have it with a darker color anyway. So, that would, like, not even be showing up with that. But the lowers, uh, yeah, I'm not thrilled with how that streaked the way that it did. So... For me, that is going to deduct a big point away from it. So what would have originally been a 5, I'm going to dock down to a 4. But I do still really like the way that it makes my lashes look. I'm not going to lie, like, it really makes them look kick-ass. So I cannot be mad at that. But it does suck that it did that to my lowers because I didn't know. I just didn't know. But anyway. Those are my thoughts on it. I'd still say it's probably worth trying out. If nothing else, just be aware with lower lashes that, yeah, it may, uh, travel. <laughs> so, anyway, that's it for this one, guys. So, as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddit, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, until next time, see ya.